Hi, great that you're back. Today we have a look how we can sync our Training Peaks work running workouts to Swift. Um, right now there's still some limitation, but they're caused by Training Peaks. Swift has uh, changed their their end, and uh, they they could accept time-based trainings, duration-based trainings, but Training Peaks hasn't done their homework yet. So I hope with the next um, updates this will work right now the only way you can get your running workouts to swift is you have to make sure let's just try to uh, do a new training so we start a run training here uh, we give it a title swift test we have it on today's date so only the you can only see the workouts that are for the actual day so if you have a workout planned for tomorrow it will not show up in Swift um, it only shows the day's workout so you have to make sure this is set to distance and this is set to percentage of threshold pace then these workouts will running workouts will be synced to Swift. So if we're doing now a warm up, let's say three kilometers, okay, in this percentage, then we will add a few intervals here uh, and we do a cool down here. So that's our workout right now. Oh, it's a long workout. <laughs> well, never mind. Um, okay, then we go on save and close. And if we open now Swift, you see it here in the calendar now that's a test workout and my regular running workouts are based on duration and i'm running with a stride so they're based on watts and this is not transmitted yet so you have to do a distance and a, a pace workout that will be transmitted and now we have a look um, how this looks okay now we will open up swift this will take a while Okay, now we are in the running screen and I will just skip this uh, right now because uh, I'm not going to connecting anything with it. We go to trainings and here it is because we planned it for the day and here is our swift test training. So you see the different intervals here, you see the cooldown phase, you cannot change anything here unfortunately. I hope this will change in the future but that way you can get your training peaks workout into Swift and if I go now to workout and I say running and as you can see here you have your whole workout transferred and synced uh, to Swift and you can now start the workout and just uh, run every single step in your workout so this is right now the only option to get your running workouts synced from Training Peaks to Swift. Um, you have to do a distance and threshold pace based workout. So hopefully with the next updates from Training Peaks, duration workouts will be transferred to Swift too. But right now, this is the only way it works. So, I hope this helped you a little bit. And now you can transfer your Training Peak workout to Swift. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And otherwise, I see you next time. Bye-bye.